hey guys it's victoria welcome or welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to be doing a q a while you guys watch me do my nails so as you saw from the thumbnail i have a vertical split nail where one side has really pretty pastel colors and the other side has a nude color so the nude i'm going to be using is the ohuhu number no. four nude it came in their 12 color poly gel kit so i'm using it only on one side before I get into the questions, I kind of want to talk about the struggles I had with this look. So the mistake I made was choosing this poly gel. I should have chosen a way stiffer poly gel. My favorite nude is from McCart, and of course McCart has really stiff poly gels, and I wish I would have picked it up, but I feel like I always use McCart, so I tried to use the first nude that I picked up, and it happened to be this. Because it was so runny, it kept flooding my cuticle every time I would go to work on the top of the nail and just get that middle line nice and straight the cuticle would flood. I would make it as thin as I could. I would perfect it. I would go back to it after a few seconds and it's completely flooded down there. So I didn't like that. It just kept running into the cuticle. And another thing that was kind of hard to do was getting an apex and still making the nail like structurally sound. So a thin cuticle, an apex at the stress point and then thinning out the tip a little bit. That was also really hard. So just wanted to mention that. Let's go ahead and get into these questions you guys asked me. Most of these questions came from Instagram, so make sure you're following me on there. It's just fixed nail tips like it is here on YouTube. I wasn't sure how you guys felt about your name and like profile picture being in the question, so, so I just cropped it out. Let me know if that was like something you wouldn't have cared about. I just figured I'd rather be safe. So the first question is what poly gel do I recommend? So when it comes to this, it kind of depends on the consistency. I prefer stiffer poly gel, so I would say McCart has really good poly gel, but if you prefer a runnier consistency, I would definitely say Model 1's is pretty good. The next question is when did I first start doing nails? So there's actually a couple of answers to this. I first started getting into painting my nails when I was about 10 or 11. I used to have a really big nail polish collection. I started doing gel manicures on myself at the end of 2018. I started doing dip powder at the beginning of 2019 and I started doing poly gel the end of 2019. So I've been doing poly gel for about a year and a half now. I want to tell you guys what I'm doing now. So I just finished the nude application. I'm wiping off that sticky layer. I'm getting an 80-80 grit hand file my dust collector so that I can sharpen up that vertical line. I want it as straight as possible because I'm going to lay that pastel poly gel right next to it and I want a super crisp line. So that's what I'm doing to all of them and then I will go in and you'll see all the poly gels I'm using to fill in the empty spaces. So I actually didn't follow the rules of this next question. It's what is my favorite nail set? So I couldn't choose just one or just two or just three. So I'm going to show you my top four. The first one is this Valentine's Day set that I did. The second one is an ombre that I did with transfer foil. The third one is today's set. And the fourth one is the butterfly set that I did in last week's video those are my top four sets and even that was hard to pick so my apologies for not only picking one the next question is how to apply full cover tips correctly should glue be used or a different type of adhesive so if you're using plastic tips you can use just glue if you're going for a press on look and if you're using soft gel full cover tips then i would definitely say using a builder gel in a bottle is the best way to apply that so the next question is, do you also do acrylic or dip nails too? If not, will you start doing so? So that's a really great question. Like I said earlier, I used to do dip nails, so I am familiar with it. I do plan on doing dip powder nails here and there on my channel. And when it comes to acrylic, I've tried it once or twice and it was years ago and it, I did really bad at it. And I definitely want to do videos with acrylic, but not for like teaching purposes, more for like entertainment purposes. So you guys can kind of laugh at my failed attempts. I definitely appreciate people who have the talent to work with acrylic because me personally, I find it so difficult, but hard gel, dip powder, acrylic, they're all things that I want to do on my channel just kind of like for entertainment purposes. So the next question is, how do you manage being a mom and a nail tuber at the same time? So I'm actually not a mom. I don't have any kids, but I do feel like the biggest responsibility in my life at the moment is just being a full-time student. So I'll talk about how I balance that. I'm getting towards the end of my program. So the classes are getting really difficult and really time consuming. 
the way i balance out both of these time consuming things in my life is i have a very strict schedule where on certain days youtube has priority and on other days school has priority school always comes first so during the week monday through thursday i don't do anything unless my school is done i'm usually able to knock out all my work on mondays and tuesdays i'm always done my homework by the weekends and that is when i prioritize youtube just filming and editing and uploading and that is how i manage it if i didn't follow that strict schedule i would probably be missing weeks and not getting the best grades so for me that's the biggest responsibility in my life so i just finished the application process and now i'm getting ready to file and finish up these nails so just giving you guys an update on what i'm doing so the next question is tell us more about your boyfriend how you met how long you've been together etc so his name is tyler we've known each other for almost three years and been together for almost two years we met in high school we had classes together and kind of noticed each other for a couple of months and then we started chatting on social media and then it transformed into a relationship and he's been my bestie ever since so yeah he knows all about youtube and he's so supportive and he hypes up all my nails and he was so excited when i told him there is a question about him so i know he'll be really excited to watch this video the next question is i really like this guy and he likes me too but right now i feel like i want to focus on me what do i do Ooh, advice the way i look at it I think you should keep them as a friend so you can still be in each other's lives and when you're both ready you have a really strong friendship to build on and then you can turn that into something more but i know situations like that kind of have a mind of its own so i hope that all works out well for you <laughs> So the next thing is a summer inspired nail set. I'm not sure when I want to start doing summer looks because I feel like I just started doing spring looks. And for some reason, I've been really stuck on trying to think of a summer look because I feel like there's not a drastic change from spring to summer. So I'm going to work on that. But I know I have loads of time before summer. I will definitely come up with some. But I know a couple of videos ago, someone asked me to do a subscriber's draw my nail challenge like Emily Susanna does. Props go to her. That was a fan fantastic idea but i might just do one like that so you guys can come up with like a summer set for me since i've been struggling to even think of one but yeah i will definitely be doing summer sets relatively soon so this is a good one this says do you plan on doing a face reveal you don't have to i was just wondering so i definitely want to do one i just don't know when at first, I was very apprehensive about starting a YouTube channel because I was kind of just scared of failure. So I like the idea of my hands being in it. But my channel has been so surprisingly successful so far and the community of my supporters that's kind of being built is so amazing. Everyone is so kind and sweet and so like gentle. It makes me feel comfortable with the idea of doing a face reveal. So I definitely want to do that sooner rather than later. I just don't know exactly when. So those are all the questions I have. You guys asked some really good ones. Thank you to anyone who did ask a question. Make sure you're following me on Instagram for anything like that in the future. This was so fun to do. Right now, I'm just finishing up the nails. I'm applying the striping tape in the middle to cover up any imperfections and just add a little pizzazz. I'm going to top coat it and then cure it and finish them up. So I feel like you guys got to know me pretty well, but I don't feel like you guys know the basics about me. So I'm going to do that really quick. Of course, my name is Victoria. I don't think I've said my age on here yet, but I am 20 years old. My birthday is October 8th. I'm curious to see if I have a birthday twin out there because I've only met like one or two my whole life. I am a Libra. I'm also into that. So if you want to tell me your sign down below, I would love it. If you're wondering what I go to school for, I am an education major, specifically an early childhood education major because I love working with kids. I've been working with kids for the last five years because I've been teaching gymnastics for all that time, which is why if you've heard me talk about my part-time job and and why I can't have super long nails all the time that's why because I can't coach with super long nails and other than that I've been doing YouTube since August and I absolutely love it I feel like you guys know so much more about me we're getting to the end of this video I really love the way that the nails turned out I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and getting to know me a little bit more thank you so much for watching make sure you like comment and subscribe and I hope to see you in the next one bye